Imagine a world where your robot folds your laundry, pours your drinks, and maybe even does yoga better than you. That world isn't science fiction. It's being built right now. At the center of it is Tesla Optimus, a humanoid robot with incredible potential and even bigger expectations. Backed by Elon Musk and touted as the future of labor, Optimus has been shown doing everything from organizing homes to helping in Tesla factories. But here's the twist. For all the hype and headline-grabbing demos, this so-called perfect robot can barely make it through a day without falling over or needing human help. So why is Optimus still too fragile for the real world? And what does its struggle say about the future of AI, robotics, and the promises tech keeps making? Let's break it down. When Tesla first unveiled Optimus in 2021, the goal was bold – to create a general-purpose humanoid robot that could perform everyday tasks, from carrying groceries to working on factory floors. Think of it as a mechanical assistant designed to do whatever a human can do, just without getting tired, bored, or needing a paycheck. The latest prototype stands about 5 feet 8 inches (1.73 meters), weighs just 125 pounds (57 kilograms), and can carry loads up to 20 kilograms. It features 28 degrees of freedom in its body, plus 11 in each hand, which gives it the dexterity to fold clothes, pour drinks, or manipulate delicate objects like eggs. Its movements are powered by Tesla's own autopilot-grade cameras, sensors, and the same FSD chip that runs its autonomous vehicles. And it's not just about hardware. Tesla's AI runs deep learning models trained on millions of real-world scenarios. That same software helping cars navigate traffic is now trying to teach a robot how to tidy your house, recognize objects, and interact safely with people. Musk envisions Optimus not as a gimmick, but as a pillar of Tesla's future, a product that will eventually outsell their vehicles and redefine the labor economy. He's talked about an era of abundance where physical labor is optional. But making that vision real will require Optimus to step far beyond controlled demos. But here's the catch. Despite the glossy demos, Optimus is far from autonomous. As Elon Musk admitted, many of the viral videos, like the one where Optimus folds a shirt, were actually controlled remotely. In fact, during Tesla's We Robot event, several Optimus units posed for pictures and served drinks with a human operator discreetly managing every move. And when one robot dramatically collapsed in a recent event while mimicking the action of removing a helmet, the illusion cracked. That wasn't a software bug, it was just a tele-operated puppet hitting its limits. Optimus, like many humanoid robots, currently performs best in strictly controlled environments. Think flat factory floors, no stairs, no unexpected obstacles. It struggles with complex terrain, rapid adjustments, or tasks involving real-time unpredictability. Even simple acts like grasping a fragile object or walking over an uneven surface pose massive challenges. That's because human environments are chaotic by design, filled with variables that robots can't always anticipate or adapt to. And we shouldn't forget one critical factor. Every time a robot like Optimus makes a mistake, it's not just a technical issue, it's a public relations nightmare. When it falls, freezes, or fumbles a task, it gets captured, shared, and scrutinized. The bar for public acceptance is far higher than for a robot in a lab. So why is Optimus, despite being a technical marvel, still too fragile for practical use? Let's start with hardware. The robot's limbs are delicate compared to the rugged demands of the real world. It uses rare earth magnets in its actuators, and a compact 2.3 kilowatt hour battery, which only gives it a few hours of operation. And while Tesla has made its design lightweight and elegant, this comes at the cost of durability. In public tests, robots have been seen wobbling, dropping items, or freezing in place. And these are the successes. What we don't see are the dozens of failed attempts that don't make it to YouTube. The truth is, human environments are chaotic. A robot that works in a lab often falls apart, literally, when faced with curbs, pets, slippery floors, or unexpected human behavior. Optimus also depends heavily on software that is still being trained. Unlike humans who can instinctively react to surprises, 
robots need to have encountered a situation or something very close to it in their training data. A slightly misplaced chair or a child running into the room can throw everything off. Then there's maintenance. Every bump, drop, or stumble has consequences. Parts break. Calibrations slip. In its current form, Optimus is still a machine that needs regular babysitting. This brings us to a deeper issue, the humanoid paradox. Why build a robot to look like a human when wheels or custom-shaped machines can do the job better? A humanoid design allows robots to fit into spaces made for humans, open doors, climb stairs, drive cars, but it also forces engineers to replicate the incredible adaptability, agility, and subtlety of human biology. That's really hard. Even Boston Dynamics Atlas, widely regarded as the most advanced humanoid robot, is still used for research and demonstrations. Not actual work. It can backflip, but it's not mopping floors at Walmart. Tesla wants Optimus to be different, affordable, around $30,000, mass-produced, and practical for real-world tasks. But designing a robot that's good at everything means it's great at nothing, at least for now. And then there's the human factor. Robots working around people must be not only functional, but safe. A single, unpredictable lunge could injure someone. That's why stability, predictability, and fail-safes are essential and extremely difficult to implement. There's also a psychological angle, Uncanny Valley. As robots become more human-like, people tend to feel discomfort. The closer they get to being like us, without being exactly like us, the creepier they feel. Musk is famous for selling the future before it arrives. And with Optimus, he's done it again. The robot is already being positioned as the next big revenue stream. Bigger than cars even. But timelines are slippery. Tesla originally promised thousands of units by 2025. That's now been scaled back to limited use in Tesla factories, with commercial rollout likely in 2026. And even then, tasks will likely be basic. Moving boxes, pushing carts, or simple repetitive actions. To be fair, that's a huge market. Amazon warehouses, construction sites, elderly care, there's massive demand for cheap, reliable labor. But Optimus isn't there yet. Its capabilities are still more impressive on Instagram than in the real world. Critics argue that Tesla is showcasing the robot as a polished product when it's still clearly a prototype. And while innovation often moves fast, making a robot truly safe, autonomous, and robust enough for the real world is a multi-year challenge. Meanwhile, competitors like Figure AI are also racing to launch humanoid robots with more sophisticated AI. Others, like Aptronic, are focusing on modular humanoids. The industry is heating up, but it's still in its infancy. So what happens next? Tesla continues to refine Optimus, reportedly working on a third version with better hands, longer battery life, and smoother motion. Mass production is still in development, with rumors of massive actuator orders from China indicating Tesla's preparing for a launch. If they succeed, the implications are massive. Optimus could reduce labor shortages, reshape manufacturing, and even enter our homes. But it also raises difficult questions. What happens to jobs? Who's responsible if a robot malfunctions? And are we ready to live alongside humanoid machines? There's also the question of trust. Today, most people find humanoid robots uncanny, even creepy. Will we ever get used to them walking our dogs or cleaning our kitchens? And there's a philosophical question too. If robots like Optimus become common, will we still value human labor? Or will we reshape society around new kinds of work and identity? Musk envisions a future where humanoid robots become as ubiquitous as smartphones. But that future is only possible if these machines can survive the real world and prove themselves far beyond a controlled demo. And let's not forget the cultural impact. Once these robots start appearing in public spaces, schools, offices, or homes, we'll begin reshaping our norms and expectations. Interfacing with machines will no longer be confined to screens. It'll be face-to-face, step-by-step, eye-to-sensor. Right now, Optimus is more promise than product. It can dance. It can fold laundry, sometimes. But it can't yet handle the messiness of real life without falling over, freezing, or needing human help. 
And that's the heart of the issue. We're chasing a perfect assistant for a very imperfect world. So until these robots can survive curbs, chaos, and coffee spills, they're still science fiction in a very real world. If you found this breakdown interesting, hit like and subscribe. And let us know in the comments, would you let a robot like Optimus into your home? Or is this one invention that's better left in the lab? Thanks for watching.